What's up Vikings? I'm Jordan Guyton with Blake Farkas here to deliver your weekly Viking news. If you haven't done so, please complete your FAFSA and Hope Scholarship and Grant application. See Ms. Kamiski for details. East Hall students, it is time to capture high school memories. Buy a yearbook. They are on sale now for $65. Please see Ms. Damron in room 213. Is early college for you? At Jones is an innovative way for high school students, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders to earn a high school diploma while also earning college credits. Instructors from Lanier Technical College and the University of North Georgia teach the classes on the early college at Jones campus. Students may take college level core academic classes and may also learn technical college certification in animation and game design, design and media production, or medical front office assistant. Early College at Jones Parent and Student Information Meeting is Thursday, February 25th, and it will be held at the Hall County Board of Education office on Green Street in Gainesville. Congratulations to the Work-Based Learning Student of the Month, Logan Turner. Keep up the great work. We'd also like to congratulate Brock Griffin for interning with Champion Aviation at the Gainesville Airport. He's pursuing his career of becoming a pilot. Prom is approaching fast and we have all of the latest information. This year, it will be held at Scott's on the Square Loft in Gainesville. Tickets will be $40 and ticket sales will be held March 1st. More information on how and where to purchase tickets will be held at a later date. You have until Monday, February 29th to purchase a Relay for Life t-shirt. T-shirts can be ordered in room 128. Short sleeve shirts are $15 and long sleeve shirts are $20. You must pay when ordering. And now to Club News. Welcome to the Viking Club News. I'm Casey Abernathy here with Ashley Evans here to deliver some amazing club news. Are you in student council? Want to be the ultimate Viking? I mean the Viking mascot? Come see Miss Tharp for details. The student council meets will be every second and fourth Wednesday of every month. The academic team will practice every Tuesday until 4.30 in the Epic 2. Hey, do you want to bop to the top? Yeah, and slip and slide and ride that rhythm? Bop, bop, bop straight to the top. Heading for the glory. Wildcats, get your head in the game for this year's spring musical. High School Musical Junior. It is a school-wide audition, so come to the theater for more information. And in March, the Viking players will be putting on Junie B. Jones, the musical. Come see your Viking players. And the winner is Miss Columbia. Um. Oh, my bad. I mean Miss Philippines. Let's hope that doesn't happen during the Miss Valhalla pageant. The next meeting is March 1st in room 204. $100 is due and information will be given out. If you're interested in participating in the East Hall High School Viking Chess Tournament, then please sign up with Mr. Press in room 209 by February 25th. <laughs> Registration is open to anyone. You do not have to be in the chess club to participate. Partner club members need to stop by room 110 and see Miss Calvert or Miss Crow to pick up mission slips for B-Ball and Spring Special Olympics. Remember to all host the members. There will be a meeting next Tuesday, February 23rd at 4 p.m. with American Red Cross. The next blood drive is March 11th. You need to be at the meeting Tuesday if you're wanting to help with the blood drive. And now to sports news. Thanks, guys. I'm Ashlyn Ellison here with Natalie Valencia. Congratulations to the wrestlers that competed in the state tournament this past weekend. They were James Sotomayor, Will Davidson, Tristan Rhodes, Joseph Smith, and Kevin Thompson. All wrestlers competed well. Special congratulations to Will Davidson who finished his high school career by placing fourth in the state. This makes Will a three-time state medalist. The fourth ranked East Hall Viking boys beat White County 2-1 to to take their season record to 3-0. Sergio Turquillo scored one goal, Carlos Castellon had two assists, and Mari Barra scored one goal. Amir Solis had seven saves and goal for the Vikings. The Lady Vikings lost to White County to take their season record to 1-2. Mariana Hernandez had 10 saves in the goal on the night. Both teams play at Lakeview Academy on Friday, February the 19th. Games begin at 5 o'clock p.m. The track team has been conditioning month to prepare for their upcoming meet on February 23rd at Banks County. Well, that's all for this week. Have a great week, Viking. What's up, guys? I'm Veronica Renteria. And I'm Madeline Hall. And today we're going to start off with a new segment called EHZ. EHZ stands for East Hall Zone. And it's going to be so, so awesome, guys. You don't understand. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> So guys, did you know that Kanye keeps changing his name? 
His album name, like he's changed it so many times. It was Swish, then Waves, then So Help Me God. What's next? The Life of Pablo. <laughs> Where'd that come from? How? Fuller House airs on Netflix February 26th. And can I just say, I'm so excited for I that. I am too. Come on, I that was like our wait. childhood. Yes. Gilmore Girls is also planning a revival series, and they're going to start recording this year. That seems so exciting, too. <laughs> Sierra suing Beecher for $15 million for calling her a bad mom. That's crazy to think. Who would call anyone a bad mom? Especially Come on, guys. a celebrity. I know. It, you just know it's going to end up in a bad way. <laughs> did or did Kanye not diss Taylor Swift in his new song? I mean, in his new song, he clearly stated that he made Taylor Swift famous in a very weird way, I would say. According to Taylor's rep, she declined and cautioned Kanye about releasing the song. She wasn't aware of what the lyric actually said. That's crazy. So, do you think that Leonardo DiCaprio will win an any Oscar this year? We'll find out soon on February 28th. And you will hear from us about it. <laughs> so the Grammys come on came on Monday, but we recorded this on Friday. So we predicted on who would win what title at the Grammys this year. So first off would be the best new artist, and we think it might be Megan Trainer. I mean, she is new, and her songs are pretty catchy. Or Sam Hunt. I mean, come on. <laughs> A good-looking guy, obviously. Album of the year, Taylor Swift. She's I mean, so awesome. I love her. Exactly. T-Swizzle. I'm a fan. Me too. Song of the year would be, hmm, See You Again. Obviously. Who hasn't heard that song, right? I mean, I think I listen to it ten times a day. I know, right? It's a good song and it's catchy. Absolutely. Best rap album, J. Cole or Drake. What do you guys choose? I mean, I feel like they're both equally popular in a way, so it's kind of hard to choose one. Best pop vocal, 1989, Taylor Swift. Yes, she has to win that. Oh my gosh, she's, she's going to win a lot of Grammys this year. Hopefully. Best country album, Sam Hunt. Come on, <laughs> Best rap performance, Drake, back to the best. Best rap song, Trap <laughs> Queen, Throwback to Spring Break. That was a very catchy song. I pretty much heard everyone singing about that, or at least like, Posting videos of them singing about that. I'm pretty sure that was one of the anthem of this past year's spring break. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I don't right. remember going a day without listening to it. Best R&B performance. The Weeknd. And also, best urban contemporary. The Weeknd. But in my opinion, how is he urban contemporary? It's crazy. I don't know. Well, <laughs> thanks for tuning in this week. We'll see you again next week. Bye, guys. Hello Vikings, I'm Tavari Watson here with Kalamaz and we're here to talk about team chemistry today. Team chemistry is when a team works together to achieve a common goal. Right. Okay, so as an athlete we all know each team has its own unique ups and downs throughout the season and the season can be very long so it's very important for each team member to bond one another with one another on and off the court because without bonding won't be able to play right. Ain't that right, Scotty? That's right. And as she said, off the court, yeah, it's best to socialize with the teammates, you know, get to know each other, be friends. So when it comes on the court, playing with each other will be naturally. And, and you guys know what to do when you're on the court with each other. So some exercises you can do for team bonding is trust ball. Scotty, you want to catch me? Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching that team chemistry by Tamari Watson and Kalamaz.